Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Total War Attila, where we are, of course, playing as the remnants of Western Rome. Uh, Italy lacking in Romanness right now. So, we have been pretty much relegated to Spain, and we have just weathered an absolutely enormous assault by the Huns, the Jutes, the Geats. And we actually ended it by wiping out two, no, three full Hun armies. And unfortunately, Elusa was burnt down and Aqua Sextia were burnt down. So both of them are currently in ruined state. So I'm rebuilding them. I'm trying to do that. We have an army stationed here, uh, ready to fight. And we have another army kind of patrolling in front of this. We'll see if we can get those repaired, but I'm not 100% sure. Because we are still being attacked constantly by rebels. Fugger, you've asked me every single stream if I'm going to do a Total War Attila Eastern Rome game. And I've responded every single stream saying, probably not. Because I want to finish Western Rome, then I'll probably do the Vikings, because I suspect I'll be sick and tired of the Roman people. Having played for such a long campaign. And this one's definitely not over. This is probably... Th this, this is the end of the beginning. Like, we've just started to stabilise. Ah, right. So, um, one thing I had noticed between turns here is the Huns are actually declaring war on more people, so I'm rather hoping that means that they are going to be uh, distracted by others. Who are you actually at war with? Rugians, Grithugians, Thuringians, Burgundians, Alamans, Slavians, me, and Langobards. That's basically everyone up here. That's interesting. Well, I kind of wish that these guys had pushed south a little bit more, and they still might. I mean, these are held by Roman, Western Roman separatists. How are you only at war with three people? Rugians, Alans, and me. No bloody wonder no one's going after the separatists. They're not fighting anyone. Hey, it's me, the man. Hey, Zed. Hey, Requin. Hey, Fishy. And everyone else, of course. And Cold Rage. <laughs> Total War Attila, aka Hold Spain! So, yeah, um, at some point we do need to do a counterattack against the uh, Separatists because they are still causing this bloody civil war, which I would very much like to get rid of. How are the provinces doing in terms of public order now? Actually, let's talk about that. So the richest is doing okay, but the other ones just, they just aren't. Ah, and did I move all the priests? Yes, but I must remember to activate him next turn. First few days at university going well. Oh, awesome, Smithman. I'm doing well. Had a good game on Mio. Um, ended the Hundred Years' War finally with France, which was good. And now I'm playing Attila, so yeah, I'm happy. I'm enjoying Mio a lot more than I was the first session or two, because it was just going so horrifically slow. But I've worked out that's because I was just running on Speed 4, and Speed 4 is actually slower than Speed 3, which is kind of insane. Wouch, that was hot. <laughs> there you go, you got your owl. People are always asking me for my owls when I get burnt by the teapot. Well, you just got one. Which university are you at now, Smitherman? Because I have nothing but good memories from my time at Lancaster. Brighton, not so much. Living in Brighton was awesome, but Brighton University, I was not impressed. And you may have noticed my bias towards Lancaster every now and then. <laughs> yeah. If I could go back to university, I absolutely would. Still tempted to do a PhD one of these days. And actually, the work that I'm doing now, aka this, would actually be pretty good for that, because I could stream and record and everything when I have time. Eastern Carolina. Okay. My uncle lives in South Carolina, so I know that area. Alright, so we are being attacked en masse by Africa with their hordes of Comatatensis. We do have a pretty decent garrison here, though. Wait, is this Carthago? This is Carthago. So this is a walled city. Interesting. Okay. They do have a breach, unfortunately. 
But my Ligio Comitatensis should absolutely cleave their way through. I love my free universities in Germany. Yeah, if I did another degree, it would not be in England. Probably wouldn't be in the US either. I'd probably could try and go to the Netherlands or Germany, Denmark, Sweden. One of those. Maybe Ireland. I bet this one unit of Desert Spears is going to win this war for them. I'm going to be so, so annoyed about them if that happens. Grr, I hate those guys. Alright, so they have... Oh, bugger. They have a lot of siege engines. That makes my life infinitely more difficult. And they've already destroyed most of the towers. Okay, this city is a freaking ruin already. In that case, I think we are going to be defending back here. Unfortunately, that does mean uh, the archery isn't going to be quite as conducive as it otherwise could have been. Let's position you there. We'll have you rush up here. Or is that the only entrance that I can close off? Because I can come all the way around. And then up here. So, yes. That one's going to be closed off, so I should probably have the ships landing elsewhere. Or, in fact, I could just have the ships landing here, and then they run that way. That works. And we do actually have a ta towers on the inside. Oh, now that's interesting. So yeah, the outer walls are completely and utterly annihilated, but the interior walls are still going strong. <laughs> really? That tower's defense thing is here? Really? The capture point? What is yours? Also on the outside. Why would you put the capture points on the outside? What? Oh, for Pete's sake. Alright, so I can't rely on those. I could, however, stick archers up here, I think. Yes, good. Although that tower is going to be in the way. This is not going to be easy. In fact, because they have a breach... They may choose to abandon those. So I'm going to defend the walls as if they had. As if they were going to do that. And if they don't abandon it, then I will run backwards as quickly as I can. They have no siege engines. They have no archers. So we're going to stick one set of archers here. One set of archers. On watch! Yeah, let's move you up. Defensive positions! So you two, don't fire at will. Be shot, you guys, do not fire at will. Cavalry, cavalry are definitely going to be stationed by one of the other exits, so I can rush you out if necessary. And I think I'm actually going to put these guys over here. Hey, Smitherman, thanks very much. Gotta love South Carolina. Fun fact, you've been ranked as number one party school. Not sure if it still are, but hey, here's, here to learn. Well, enjoy your time at university. I mean, it's it's definitely an opportunity where you can try stuff and do stuff. Place I'm going to get a job will pay all of your school if you're with the company for a year. That's good. I know the army often does that as well. I don't know if it's true in the US, but like in the first year at English universities, uh, the grades don't count. So the first year really is just about learning to be a student. And then second and third year, it's more about the studies and getting good uh, good results. Don't know whether it works that way in the US, I, I couldn't say. Uh, right, so all of you guys are here at the front. We have the barricade blocking off this entrance, which is fine. Right, let's see. They are using them all. That's really unfortunate. Because there's just going to be too many of them to properly hold the the breaches. And it's raining, so I wouldn't be able to destroy any of the siege engines. Raining party! Hey, Fiona! Hello, Fiona. Hello, all of your viewers. How are you doing? 
I am trying to work out how to defend this ridiculously hard to defend city. They've got a breach here already, so they are in. That's how the siege started. They have a bazillion different siege engines, which means they can attack me all along the walls. All of my towers on this side of the walls have been destroyed. And then if I fell back to the inner city, which is what I was planning to do, for some reason the tower capture points are on the outside of the walls. So these two towers are basically useless unless I put a defensive line here and here. At which point these towers are just going to be shooting me in the back. Like, why? Who, who does this? Why would you put the capture point on the outside? The capture point should be like here. Just spent the last 10 minutes of your stream talking about Mr. Blobby. You know what? Growing up, that was a character I hated. I could not stand Blobby. The TV show he was in I quite liked. I just did not like Mr. Blobby. I don't know what it was. I just found him freaky. Do I know if the heavier siege engines unlocked with later tech are worthwhile? I don't know. I've never really bothered with them. Heavier catapults and stuff, sure. But just heavier siege engines? I'm really not not convinced. I don't know what I'm doing here. I mean, we do only have the two entrances to defend, so I could just stick like the auxilia here and just hope they hold, and then put the legio over here. So we can at least rely on this tower, or I can just forsake that tower entirely and ignore its existence. I think that's probably what I will do. So we'll stick our archers back here. Unfortunately, the other thing with this position is this tower is right in the bloody way of any archers trying to shoot down at the combat. This is such a bad layout city. Uh, oh! I had not even noticed them. Yeah, apparently they do. Bugger. Um, these are actually naval units. Well, thankfully I have blocked off the main naval entrance. So the barricade is there. So they're going to have to go all the way around. Um, if they were not naval units, then I'd probably attack them with my two naval units because they tend to crush land transports, but unfortunately they are, so I won't. Another alternative is I could try and plug the gaps in the entrance, but then actually the naval units will come in, so I am very glad you pointed that out because we're basically forced to defend this now. So yeah, I think I'm going to stick the Legio Comitatensis here. And, oh, okay, maybe just one. I'll have the second come in as a reinforcement later. That's That looks like a nasty position. Or, I could stick the other one over here. Although this just feels like a more of a spearman-friendly place to defend. And then the archers can just make a run for it, because they're up on the walls. Cavalry. Cavalry could go and hide somewhere. I actually just go and stick the cavalry, like, out here. And the Palatina can go over there, not Palatina, the Spearman can go over there, Auxilia. We are heavily What's Mr. Blobby? He's a nightmare. The enemy draws near! Right, and you two need to land, quickly. Seeing as you're already being shot at. Swoosh. Uh, unfortunately that does mean that they're going to have some artillery support. I could try and sacrifice one of these guys to go and take out the artillery ship. But honestly, these two and actually the skirmishers could probably put paid to that idea. Right, are you guys running? See, why, why are you just going for a midday stroll? This is no time for a midday stroll. Lag it! So what were you playing, Fiona? It's probably just an English thing, he looks alright for me. Well, Mr. Blobby was like in a children's TV series, and he's frightening for that. <laughs> Why would you put that in a children's series? I mean, seriously.
Let's have you guys spread out, shall we? Okay, it looks like they're going to try and land around on the other side. In fact, they might try and land out here, which would be extremely stupid. Naval skirmishes are kind of trash. Archers and crossbows are better. Oh yeah, absolutely. But skirmishes are actually fairly decent at killing small crews, both of which these are. Do have some spearmen on the outside there. All right, I think we need to put these guys like. Quick here. March. Thankfully, it's raining, so any fires that are going right now will just be put out. Oh no, they're landing here. If they try and destroy that barricade, I'll be very upset. Range I think I'm done with the game for now. One assassin Strackler, so I should probably revisit later. You should play Attila. I still maintain Attila is the best of the series. It's it's really, really good. And if you have the uh, DLCs, you can play as the Picts. So you could play as Caledonia or Our general is under attack. the Picts. <laughs> and you'll be fighting against Western Rome, trying to kick him out of England and Britain. Will the Terminus playthrough of Bussy continue? Yes, that's going to continue on Wednesday. I wasn't able to make last Wednesday. He's not able to make we next Wednesday, but yes, we are going to continue. Alright, so they've now landed. And you're going to keep on taking pot shots at them. You know what? I'm okay with that. Yeah, you are going for the barricade, you are. The asses. enemy is breaking down one of our barricades! If I have to, I can send these two down there to come to you. Time. Unfortunately, I have no time to play or anything else at the moment. That's unfortunate. Oh, you know what I can do? Thanks very much for the opportunity there. Looks like they... Oh, no. He's just going around the edge. Wait, is they... They abandoned the siege towers once they realised, oh, he's, he's abandoned the walls. So I could easily have held them. Oh no, actually they probably would have continued attacking it. Whatever. So go ahead and fire. shooting, that's a waste. Our settlement has suffered much from the enemy. Alright, so the cavalry caught the skirmishers, then I can send the cavalry around the back and then hit them. It looks like the catapult ran out of ammo, that's good. Skirmishers won't last for very long. And thankfully my uh, swordsmen are much higher level than these guys. They are taking one of the morals, morale spots, but that's fine. Am I hoping to win this or am I just trying to do more damage than auto-resolve? This one I'm trying to win. Because I have no legions in Africa, nor do I intend to station any there. It would be a huge waste. Disaster. Enemy forces have seized our gates. Oh no, they, they've seized the gates. That's really unfortunate. Forward! See, they're already doing this shooting over thing. That's just not effective. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Let's not do this. Nothing remains of that tower now. So that, that was tower knocked down. It wasn't useless, was it? Less awesome cavalry charge. They unit has rallied. Dragitarian. This is going to be so effective. 
out equities! By your command! Oh, that's their general. Yeah, I need to let them reform because it looks like they turned around to try and deal with my cavalry. Archers are firing. Two kills, 24 kills. This is not effective use of ammo. Right, I'm going to move you over here. New plan. Do not fire at will. You go and hit them in the back. You go and murder them. don't really understand what the mercenary Roman artillery crew was planning to do here. As long as I put pressure on these guys, we should kill them. If they shatter, then even better. So yeah, what I'm hoping to do is destroy these guys, then I'm going to shift them around the back and then hit them in the, in the rear. And it looks like nobody's coming around here, so I'm going to have these come into tensors, shift over there too. Everything's dying, so you and you. Come down here. Quite a lot of morale. So what I think I need to do is get my spearman. There is my general. I'll stick him over here as well. So you need to hold until the end. I've killed 500. We lost two. That's not a good ratio. Scout equities. Forward. I'm actually feeling too confident about him holding. Alright, so, archers. I want you. Over here. Are they turning around? They might be. Alright, let's take the archers there just to provoke them. And then you lot come over here as well. Cavalry. Over this side, we'll capture that. You. They turned around, but the enemy have rallied their units. I still have some out there. Cassus. Looks like they're simply outmaneuvering me. Let's move the cavalry through here. Narrow formation so you don't get caught out by these guys. Bye! Going. Nothing to see here. No, nothing to see here at all. Just, just, just ignore us. Ah, bugger. Why does the AI have to be so good? Ah. Mm. 
Alright, keep running down here. Keep running down here. Well, it's not so much about the AI being good here, it's about this city being absolutely awful to defend. Quickly turn around, fire. Come on, they're running away from you. There you go. charging spearmen that was a great idea <laughs> I really had a choice Melee yep killed half a unit in one charge now. trying to save my marines but that was probably a hopeless attempt all right aim at them yes, come on. rain on hell on them I'm not going to get any better positioning than this. Oh! This is a horizontal shot. It's actually better positioning than I expected. I was expecting this to be the uh, drop shots. Well, we can definitely do some damage to this because they're so messed up. But I think that's about as good as I can expect. Yeah, now you're starting to get some kills. Good. Could I manually aim the archers, but it doesn't look like it. Are you guys actually fighting? No, you're not. You're stuck in. You're the general. Lead by example. use my cavalry but I also don't want to be pulling back through here because that's going to lead enemy spearmen towards me there. I can however recharge these guys. Enable throwing. Recharge. Or have they just recovered? Nope. Good. Go back. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Run. Wait who ran? Those the men are losing hope. Oh. I was hoping that these guys would do some actual damage, but no. Rubbish. That was appalling. 78 kills and 41 kills for the archers. And they were all at full strength as well. <laughs> Oh well, Carthage finally fell. So now I just don't need to worry about Africa anymore. Eastern Rome, you can have it. 